You yep. have some friends with the organization. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you know Steve uh, Wilkes personally, I, but I do. You do. I do. Okay, so okay. I do know Steve. What yep. have you have you heard on like how just inside insight on how some of the players have maybe changed their outlook on the the season based on the change from Matt Rule to Steve Wilkes? It definitely looks like they've responded more on the field, and it looks like Steve Wilkes is putting them in in better positions. But what's the talk around Charlotte around Steve Wilkes? Yeah, I mean, that, that is the talk around town. I mean, he's a, um, graduated from West Charlotte. I mean, he's a Charlotte native. And, you know, the fact when he came in, you know, as a, you know, came back from Arizona, which I think he, to me, I think he got a pretty raw deal. How can you judge yes. a coach in one yeah. season? <laughs> I mean, regardless of, I mean, come on. And he wasn't allowed so, to pick his whole staff. He, he yeah. was, exactly. And yeah. so, one, I think that was an unfortunate situation. But I think, you know, him coming back in and I think, one, you know, I know we got um, AKA Matt Rue's twin on, on with us, but <laughs> I think in, in the true res- honesty and respect to uh, to Coach Wilkes, I think he's went back in the old, the former players, whether it's Luke Keekley or Thomas Davis or Steve Smith or Jonathan Stewart, you didn't really see a lot of those guys around much with, with Coach Rue. And I don't know for whatever reason, but you know, with, with, with Wilkes back, those guys have come around and, and, and embraced it. And I think, you know, they all want – I follow all of them on Twitter. You know, they've all been positive about Coach Wilkes. Coach Wilkes was here when we were winning. And so, one, he knows the culture of what it takes to yeah. win here in Carolina. And I think, one, I know the players are fighting, you know, hard as they can for him and, you know, to get get that chance to be that full-time coach, you know, hopefully after this season. And, I mean, you look at the development of a guy like P.J. Walker, who, you know, unquestionably, as a quote-unquote, was Rue's guy. But once Rue, you know – departed you know pj stayed prepared and you know people didn't really give him much of a chance when he stepped in for baker mayfield and look what he's done and so at the end i think that's a position that you know ultimately they got to figure out what what that person is going to be or who it's going to be because i think everything starts you know with the quarterback position in this league now and i you know but i think you know the talk around town is you know um coach wilkes has given them some clear direction and actually some some real hope and so at the end of the day you know, I've went to a couple games. I went to the first game that he won, and it's just, you know, I mean, it's it's we we in Charlotte are wanting a winner so bad and wanting yeah. to really support, and they are supporting it. Whether it's the you know the Hornets, um, you know the Panthers, the soccer team did great, you know, and so I think you know one, I want the Panthers to win because when they win, Mondays are much funner to go to work. <laughs> yes, you know. Yeah. And Krispy sure. Kreme lines are a lot longer too. Yes, they um, are. Uh, really, Absolutely. Really quick, uh, while we have a, a couple minutes, a couple more minutes with you, uh, we have Matt Rule, Matt Rule's oh, twin, yeah. right here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you, Do you have any questions or any uh, comments from Matt Rule so he can, uh, you know, kind of answer you back right now? Hey, I, you know what? I'm not gonna touch Coach Rule. <laughs> but I, hey, what I will, what I will say though is, being a fan, uh, I love, I love the parody of what what Dennis is doing and I think I remember I was I went down to the Carolina Duke game with my daughter and I think um something happened oh the, about the, the the book about the panther the oh, art yeah, of the, the panther the or whatever panther. The, and I remember I remember hitting Chris that morning and saying man have you seen this and I said hit Dennis up and I'm telling you by the next day, Dennis has something in my inbox. I did, and I mean, I think it's been I think it's been great. And I uh, mean, I saw you guys out, and I mean, and, and salute to Chris. I mean, I almost feel like a proud father with Chris because <laughs> when I started coming into Greensboro with my brother's camp, Chris was an intern at UNCG working at the station in Greensboro. Yep. And just to see his development from Winston Salem to wrestling to you know doing parties and, and doing stuff, but just the growth that, that you've had, Chris, I think it's been great and connecting with Dennis. But I'm telling you, you guys have, have, have really added some great humor online and you guys are out there in the woods. and <laughs> It's been really great. And I know I know you guys have connected down here with uh, Mac and T-Bone. Oh, yeah. I worked at T-Bone a lot when I was at FNZ, and he's a great guy and also from the 336. Yep. But just to, to go on, and I mean, and the, the crazy thing is with all we went through with COVID and everything else, and, you know, it's definitely unfortunate what happened to Coach Rule, but as people said, don't feel sorry for Coach Rule. He got a big check. Oh, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. And, yeah. and we'll get a college job again. Yeah, it's just yeah. some coaches, it's just not the right fit in the NFL. Hey, and I, so, one – with everything that's happened, you almost got to laugh at some of the stuff. And you guys have been great providing some kind. It's been great for me to see the reaction of everybody on social media with you guys. And I've actually really enjoyed it. And 
one day when he does get another job, I'd love for Dennis to be at the press conference and actually ask him a question because that would actually really crack me up. You know, at, at the end of the day, Charles, I would love to do that. <laughs> just for you, I want to give you, I want to give you a Matt Rule asking Matt Rule question just for you at the end of the day. You know, maybe I'll go down to Nebraska. Maybe, maybe you know, we'll, we'll show him what corn is all about. You know, at the end of the day, just for you, Charles. <laughs> That's, That's Charles. Uh, I love it. That's Charles Winfield.